it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty and thanks for stopping by and for visiting me again. Spring is here and everything should be vibrant and fresh and come alive. In spring we take out our lily fragrances, our spritzy jasmine fragrances, iris and also our most beautiful and delicate violet scents. I decided today to concentrate on iris perfumes because this is a note that so many people are afraid of and I think this is the case because iris fragrances are often not very well formulated and they do end up very cloying and sometimes you get this powdery funk at the end of the day. Due to the fact that none of us have any kind of tolerance for cloying fragrances. Reason why I decided to share with you today some of my favorite iris scents and some of the most celebrated iris scents in the perfume industry. The first fragrance on my list is from Prada and it is called Prada Infusion de Iris. This fragrance. It is one of these department store fragrances which is also niche. It is loved by all perfume lovers. This fragrance came out in 2007 and it also won a Fifi Award in 2008. Eight, it was crowned as fragrance of the year for women nouveau niche. This fragrance, it is one of the most beautiful iris fragrances on the market. It has been around for a long time and I think it will continue to be with us for much longer. The fragrance has iris as the main accord but it also has a good dose of citrus and also violets. This fragrance can be worn into summer with no problems. It is a lovely fragrance. The packaging is beautiful Everything about Prada Infusion de Iris screams and reeks summer and spring. If you have not tried this fragrance, please give it a go. The next fragrance on my list, it is my favorite iris scent. It is from Serge Lutus and it is called Iris Silver Mist. I am leaving a picture on top because at the moment I do not have a bottle. The bottle for Iris Silver Mist, it looks like this. It is one of the Bell bottles. Actually, this is my Bois de Violette from Serge Lutens but it looks like this and it contains 75 milliliters of the purest, earthy, most beautiful iris scent out there. For people who are lovers of iris fragrances, it is a must have. The main accord of this fragrance is iris. However, it does contain some violets and some green notes. It is an earthy iris, an absolute beauty. Iris Silver Mist, it is costing 190 euros, but it is for 75 
milliliters. The fragrances in the bell bottles, it has a stopper and it is for simply dabbing. This perfumes a very potent, I mean this is real parfum. These bottles are not sold in all department stores, so please look around and find a Siege Lutens dealer where they also have the exclusive bottles and you should be able to try it at such counters. And with Siege Lutens, you will not smell yourself coming and going. The next fragrance on my list, it is from Aqua di Parma and it is called Iris Nobile. Iris Nobile has also been around for quite some time. This came out in 2006 and this is also a very well celebrated fragrance. The main accord here is white florals, but this fragrance does have a strong dose of iris and this is what really comes out. This fragrance is very soft and it is perfectly formulated for spring and for summer. When this came out in 2006, Aqua de Palma was more of a niche, hard to find brand. But in the last couple of years, they are pretty much mainstream. This scent, it is such a beautiful fragrance at about a hundred euros for 50 milliliters Eau de Parfum. This is worth the price. Also, it packs a lot of bang for the buck. It is not a flimsy formulated fragrance. Very nice. Another one on my list, it is Chanel number no. 19. Guys, Chanel number no. 19 is one of the most beautiful fragrances from Chanel. This one is a bit green. The top note, it's a bit earthy and a little bit woody, but the base note, the heart note is iris and it is a beautifully made, crispy, fresh iris. This is a scent which is just so beautiful for the office because it is never cloyed. The sillage of number 19, it is never too much. It is the perfect fragrance for going shopping on Saturdays or for brunch. I have Chanel number no. 19 in Eau de Toilette. I have it in Eau de Parfum. I have it in every variation possible. Please check this out if you are looking for a vibrant and fresh iris scent. Another beautiful iris scent I would like to bring to your attention, it is number 57 from Chanel. This one is relatively new and it came out in 2019. This one is more of a bit powdery iris, however it also has a strong dose of citrus and adelhides. It is part of the Chanel exclusive collection and uh, these fragrances are coming in 200 milliliter bottles. It is a lovely fragrance and worth trying. In closing guys, I have two other fragrances in my collection which are iris scents that I absolutely love. I did not include it in the normal part because the fragrances are 
discontinued. The first one, it is called Mythic and it is from the perfume house of Perfumes Del Rey. This is a line out of San Francisco. They were also the creators of Bois de Paradis, which was a woody floral. It is still available, I think, at first in fragrance. You just need to search the internet. This is a lovely, pure, soft, iris fragrance. The other fragrance, I also have a decant in this. This is a 20 milliliter decant from my perfume groups. It is called Iris Padilla. It is from Le Atissin. This fragrance, it came out in 2007, I believe. It was costing about 300 euros for a hundred milliliter but it was a concentrated perfume this was the mother of all iris fragrances but it was limited edition if i can remember correctly if you can find decants of iris padilla or if you are able to still find it on niche websites, it is an amazing iris scent. I would only caution, please do not pick this up from shops in Hong Kong or on eBay because they are counterfeit perfumes. This fragrance is so sought after, there is demand on the black market. Well guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be bringing you my spring lineup in another video. I just thought I had to do iris because so many people don't wear iris and I know it is because at some point somebody grabbed the wrong perfume. An iris perfume is worth paying a little bit more for. Iris, when it is done correctly, it is beautiful and it is spring in a bottle. Thank you so much for watching this to the end. I appreciate you guys so much. If you love this content, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have a favorite iris scent, post it on this channel. Other people may like the fragrance that you like. The knowledge sharing should be in both directions. Ciao and see you again soon. Tschüss!